You've seen Brandon abuse dogs. You've seen him fend against the R2-D2 twins. Now, watch as he faces his greatest challenge yet in the woods. Yes, that's right folks, I use a cane now. Apparently, arthritis is just as common as the cold these days, and I'm gonna use this for now on. Alright, so apparently this stop sign was just an illusion. We're gonna say F you to society and what they demand, and we are gonna go around. Justin, my man, step up here. You're wearing a uh, tree shirt, so you obviously know the wilderness, so if you can help lead the way, that'd be great. Justin never actually helped lead the way, and was later attacked by a pack of malnourished panda bears, because karma's a bitch. You know, I always wanted to rock climb, but a good rock walk is just as good, just as satisfying. All seemed good in the woods, but these obnoxious tourists posing as hikers desired more. Specifically, a river for some odd reason. The family listened long and hard for any signs of a river, but all they found was a stream of disappointment. My mommy's scared. If I need mommy, then we're in trouble because she's not going to help me. She's scared herself. With a lack of a river came a lack of motivation for the mother of the family to continue on. As such, she left her clan and searched for anything else more productive. Brandon was greatly saddened and felt like Bambi after his mother was shot. Why? Okay, we got some light here. That is great. We may have to worry about cougars and coyotes, and rabid deer and all that, but vampires will not be an issue with the sunlight. Unless they're Twilight Vampires, those are the worst. With light came hope, and with hope came the signs of a river. Definitely hear a stream. Can you hear it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, I hear something. Definitely. The sound of the river. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The river you've all been waiting for. <laughs> oh, psych! Oh, God, you people are so gullible. <laughs> okay. Okay, here is the river. I mean it this time. Maybe some water right here. I hear a stream, it's a cliff. Here we are. Ah, the first sign of a river. But there is more to come, folks. Actually, a yellow brick road would probably be much easier to follow. Oh. Choose a path. Well, this way would probably be more where the water is. Lost in the woods without a mother, Brandon and company seek company from an unlikely creature. It's not a body of water, but it's something. So it could mean we're relatively close. And there's our first actual animal of the day. Here is a Bullfrog, wow, it is not easy being green as Kermit would say, that's why it's more brown. It's a murky environment. Oh yeah. There's a frog, you see it? Yeah, yeah right there. The really, big one. really uh, incognito. Oh careful, don't stab. Well, uh, thank you for your time, bullfrogs. Rip it, rip it, rip it. Those frogs sure were cute, but alas, they couldn't tell the lost family where to go or how to survive in the woods. With a lack of direction, the group continued on their treacherous path. Time to risk my life for a body of water. I'm used to it. All right. Try walking on the big stones. Yes. This is very inspirational for big men everywhere. I. I feel a speech coming on for this big man. Some people can't handle success. I can. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I lost my uh, track of thought. Uh, um, 
here's a few random clips involving the landscape or something. You know, I gotta call up Peter Jackson in case he wants to do another Lord of the Rings movie. He can probably film a good chunk of the movie here. It's really nice. Look at these trees. They're just like models. They're wooden. They just stand there. But they're beautiful. Tree didn't make it. Fell down. Couldn't get up. Life alert does not work here. That's more branches just gutting out rage. Stab us. That's because I'm more intrigued than anything, so just because I'm not smiling doesn't mean I'm not enjoying myself. And look, it's limbo. Oh, this is a very nice and easy limbo spot. I barely have to tilt my head for this. Nice, simple, easy limbo. Not too bad, I'm doing it. As exciting as Brandon's limbo game is, Let's cut to something a little more interesting. Hey, do I see something? Yes, I do. You can see with the trees, there is some water. We did it, we found a river. Water bottle there. Empty, but we got some water. So, I can work out. It's really nice from what I could see. The trees are kind of in the way. At last, the river was finally found. All's well that ends well, right? Wrong. The massacre was truly the stuff of nightmares. Not many survived, but those that did pressed on. The fear, but fear itself. I'm not claustrophobic. I'm not claustrophobic. I'm still I'm fine. I'm okay. I brought a little doggy bag so I can hyperventilate. So it's okay. Fork in the road. Literally, the surf looks like a fork, as opposed to a knife. And well, we got some words here. M O M. I don't know. I feel like a, like a preschooler all over again. I can't read this. You okay? Careful, someone took the time to write with leaves. A snake. Right here. Oh, I see. Right where my camera is showing. Yeah. Hello there. Oh. Thankfully, the snake was vegan and refused to eat Brandon and crew. Yeah. After surviving the rabid dog attack and the snake encounter, Brandon's father had enough of the forest life. Also, they already found the river they were in search of, so there really wasn't any reason to keep hiking. Well, besides maybe burning a few extra calories and working towards a beach bod. Before we end this adventure, Justin, do you have any last words? Hopefully we don't get lost on the way back. Well, there is a trail. There's no place I come. There's no place like home. There's no place like home.